Hi, in this video you will find general tips to discuss, questions to ask, and facts to share with your team. To clarify the safety regulations and procedure regarding lifting with crane and hoists. Lifting with crane and hoists. Toolbox Talk, TBT. Lifting with crane and hoists. Generally speaking, when we talk about staying close to the load, we are referring to certain procedures that must be followed in order to eliminate or reduce the risk of an accident, causing injury to workers or damage to property. Of course, it's necessary to understand what you are lifting. 1. What is the load? 2. Do you have the proper slings? 3. Is the load properly hooking on the crane or hoisting machine? 4. Are you lifting a load that is exceeding the safe limit of the hoisting machine? 5. Is the person hooking on the load in complete agreement with the operator as to the signals and where the load is to go? General discussion. Often the operator cannot see the material or equipment that is being handled, especially in building construction work. Employees should not be permitted to work beneath the area where materials are being loaded or unloaded. If it is necessary to swing a load over other workers at the site, make sure they are warned. Every precaution should be taken to protect workers by means of barricades or a flagman. Many injuries are caused because workers are standing or working under swinging loads. Unsafe rigging, hooks or slings can cause the load to fall. 1. What about the weather? 2. Are conditions so unfavorable that the wind or rain play tricks with the load or reduce the visibility of the workers or the operator who is hoisting the material? 3. Only experienced employees should make the sling hitches on a load. Do you know the proper procedures for handling equipment and material? Review these procedures with your employee. If there have been accidents recently in your area, be prepared to discuss them with your employee. Listen to their ideas. They may have the answer you have been looking for. Also, mention any hazards that are unique to your operation. For your safety and the safety of your co-workers, follow these safety steps. 1. Plan ahead and know the load. 2. Use the proper slings and equipment. 3. Know the correct signals. 4. Don't guess, think and be sure. General safety review. This is a time to review all safety concerns, not just today's topic. Keep your notes on this page before, during and after the safety meeting. Are you aware of any safety hazards from any other crews? Point out any hazards other crews are creating that this crew should know about. Tell the crew what you intend to do about those hazards. Do we have any other safety business? Discuss any past issues or problems. Report any progress of investigations and action taken. Have there been any accidents, near misses or complaints? Discuss any accidents, near misses, and complaints that have happened since the last safety meeting. Also recognize the safety contributions made by members of the crew. Please remember, we want to hear from you about any health and safety issues that come up. If we don't know about problems, we can't take action to fix them. Ending the meeting. Circulate sign-off form. Assign one or more crew member or members to help with next safety meeting. Refer action items for follow-up. Do you have any safety recommendations? Do you have any job-specific topics you would like us to discuss? Thank you. Feel free to share this video on Facebook. Twitter, Google Groups, and WhatsApp. You can also share it with your professional network on LinkedIn. If you like this video hit the like icon. To support us subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for updates. Thanks for watching.